Hi, I'm Echo with Echoes of Nature. Today I'm going to share a little story called the Big Wide Mouth Frog and then we're going to visit with one of the animal ambassadors from the story. The Big Wide Mouth Frog. There once was a slimy green frog with a very big mouth. That frog drove everybody crazy. He was always going up to others and shouting, Who are you? I'm a Big Wide Mouth Frog. One morning he decided to find out what everybody ate for breakfast. He hopped out of his frog pond and went straight to the zoo and began to bother the animals. First, he met the giraffe. Who are you and what do you eat for breakfast? The giraffe looked down. I'm a giraffe, of course. I eat leaves for breakfast. The wide mouth frog bellowed. Well, I'm a big wide mouth frog and I eat flies for breakfast. Next, he visited the elephant. Who are you and what do you eat for breakfast? I'm an elephant, of course. I eat plants for breakfast. Well, I'm a big wide mouth frog. I eat flies for breakfast. Next, he went to visit the alligator and shouted in his usual obnoxious way, Who are you and what do you eat for breakfast? With a sly, hungry look in her eyes, the alligator answered, I'm an alligator, of course, and I just love to eat wide mouth frogs. Have you seen any lately? Once he heard that, the wide mouth frog suddenly closed up his mouth and got very, very small. Then he shed with a squeak. Nope, I've never heard of a creature called a big wide mouth frog. Hope you find one. I gotta go now. The big wide mouth frog hopped as fast as he could back to his frog pond. And after that, he always remembered that sometimes it's better to keep your big wide mouth shut. Hi, this is American Alligator, uh, one of our animal ambassadors here at Echoes of Nature. She is actually on loan to us from the Maryland Reptile Conservation Center. And if you take a look at her, I know she's an alligator because she's got this U-shaped mouth, snout, Crocodiles would have a pointier V-shaped snout. If you take a look, she's got some awesome adaptations to look at. She's got her eyes up on the top of her head. And when she's swimming, she might just have her eyes above the water and part of her back, and she'll look kind of like a floating log. If you take a look at her feet, little skinny finger hands, she has some webbing between her back toes, but she doesn't actually use those feet for swimming like the frog would, like the big mouth frog from our story. She actually uses her tail to help her to propel through the water. She also has very sharp teeth. And an American alligator would eat frogs. Wouldn't matter to her if they were big mouth or small mouth. She would also eat fish. And when she was younger, small insects and, and small other invertebrates, small mammals. At this size, she's going to eat small mammals, fish, frogs, snakes. And at full grown, they can take down deer, raccoon, opossum. She is a young one. She's probably about between six and nine years old. Um, she came to us on loan because she was a confiscation and because of that she's never going to be able to go back into the wild and once she is too big for us in our facility she'll go back to the reptile conservation center to continue education programs she is an ambush hunter so she's going to wait for food to get close to her and then with that wide mouth she's going to snap at it and overpower it with her teeth and her jaw strength they are nocturnal, so they're active at night. And if you live where there are alligators and you go out with a flashlight, you might see red eye shine when you shine your flashlight over the water and you'll know you are seeing alligator eyes shining back at you. I wanna thank you very much for joining us and meeting us with our ambassador alligator. In just a moment after I put her down, I have some alligator crafts that I'd like to share with you. Go. Hi, welcome back. 
Here are a couple of crafts or games that can be played. These will also be found on our website at echoesofnature.org. And the first one I'm going to share with you is an alligator puzzle. So you can see the printout has the different pieces and you would cut them out. And then depending on the age of your child, either help them a bit with an, another one that you've done so they just overlay the pieces onto the correct spots or have them work it out as well. And here is our alligator off for a stroll. So I'm going to move this over and then the next one has a couple of different ideas that you can do with it. So I found a letter A that I could print out and we can give, so I'm going to turn him this way, you can glue on his eye, glue on the letter A's, and then add some pointy sharp triangle teeth. And of course you can color your alligator any way you want to. And our third craft game, um, it's more of a game, but it's greater than or less than. And they talk about the greater than, less than, the wide end of the greater sign being the alligator mouth so he can chomp his food. So there is a greater than, less than page on the website. And there's also a game that you can play so you don't need to print this out if you don't want to. So I have four pink squares and I just have used some of our foam craft beads that we use for our projects. You can use anything, whether it's beans or pennies, rocks, acorns. So I have four pink squares on this side and I have five blue squares on this side. And think about which side has the most pieces. And that would be five is greater than four. So you can take your hand and make your alligator sign and it would eat up all the five squares. I can also do different shapes. So I have still the four pink squares and now I have three blue hearts. Think about which side has the most. So that would be this time the four pink squares and I would make my greater than sign going this way where it would try and eat all four of the pink squares. Now I have three yellow stars and three blue hearts. Which side has the most? Well, they're equal because they both have three. So you can have your alligator with his mouth totally closed for an equal sign. Thank you very much for joining us today and having a story, meeting Ambassador Alligator, and seeing a couple of cool crafts and game ideas. Please check us out on our website at echoesofnature.org for the pages and for more information. Hope y'all are having an awesome day and see y'all later.